Hey guys, Aussie Boy here, and I'm back with another boss fight video. And in this one, we're going to fight from the vacu the vacuumous spider. Now, I suggest bringing in some um, maybe some bolt paper or some fire paper if you do. Um, I actually this was my third attempt, so I pretty much got my ass kicked. But the only reason why I got my ass kicked was those fucking um, those spiders. His uh. AOE, he does these AOE moves that are not really that hard, it's just those spiders get in the way and then when he does his AOE it is where it's the most deadliest because you're pretty much distracted by the spiders and then you forget all about ROM, so, and that comes to my second tip, um, I suggest um, keeping an eye on ROM as often as possible, and now why I say that is because while you're slaying some of his spiders or you're trying to dodge, he'll be doing his little AOE attack in the background, now pretty much of his first I think he has three phases of his first one he doesn't really attack you at all so what you pretty much the best thing to do is probably just to take out his spiders now obviously attacking them head-on does fuck all damage it's obviously it's better for them to actually you either to go around or if they attack you dodge it and then hit them back which is pretty easy so all right well that's the second tip probably the third tip I'd have to say was I've got that companion guy there with me he's not a play he's just a a summon sign from my covenant but um I probably didn't really need him um I probably suggest you guys trying to do this alone to start with um and if it doesn't work then if you can get someone to help you just get him in but um pretty much the bolt paper what it does to him is it hurts him really good so I usually just um say probably just two or three hits and then move just like that only because he does that whole moving back thing and when he goes into that little phantom kind of situation there you get like bonus damage off him if you um when he starts doing that so i pretty much just uh, that's what i was saying do two hits and move and because you're saving your um stamina so then when he goes into that little phase and you hit him at um you know you do bonus damage see there i go again not even uh listening to my own tips so i didn't keep my eye on him just like before take out the spiders in the second phase he starts doing a lot of these AOE attacks like that, or ranged attacks, um, I found that probably coming in close is probably the best thing because that AOE attacking uh, move is really damaging. Um, try to keep him in close if you can. And also try to keep an eye on him. Just like that, I did it again. Not even uh, not even doing my own tips. So that um, aerial... Um, aerial attack that he does isn't that bad all it is if it hits if you get hit by all four it's bad but it's like it's it's harder to dodge than his other attacks that he does so you're probably better off just to try and stay in close to medium range and try and just draw those spiders into one little uh one little you know group and if you can um well that little he did that little aoe attack there it's really easy to dodge that little aoe attacking thing there you just got to run away you don't even have to dodge unless you're too close um, now pretty much in this third phase what happens is that he gets so aggressive that he actually does starts doing melee attacks if you get close and he does like a another AOE attack where he pretty much it's almost like a, a force field so to speak it's like if you get close to him he can push you back real quick and it takes off a lot of your life um, but it's like I said before take out the spiders and he's really nothing um, you can obviously tell when he rolls onto his back like that he's going to do that AOE attack out of the ground and if his tail comes up at the back that means he's doing that, AO that aerial attack from the sky so that's pretty much what you've got to watch out for if you see that run away and if he pops up his back of his tail then that's when you uh, start running diagonally or to the side just like before his spiders when they do that they're pretty easy to take there and as you can see he's actually using his head now to attack so that pretty much means it's in the third phase. But once you get rid of the spiders, it's actually really not a, not a very hard um, boss fight. So, and it took me bloody two attempts to realise that. So, uh, stupid. But um, yeah, and that's pretty much my tips for this fight. So let's recap. Um, in his first um, phase, just attack his spiders, leave him for last. In his second phase, attack his spiders again, but don't take your eye off of him. Um, watch out for his aerial and AOE attacks. And if he does do an aerial attack, um, which is probably the um, hardest hitting one, you just run sideways. Don't even have to roll, dodge, or whatever like that. Just sprint sideways. When he goes onto his back like that, he's doing his area of effect attack. So that's when you want to just uh, 
run away, stay back, and then just get back there killing his spiders. Using bolt paper is really effective against these guys, and I'm assuming that um, fl um, flame paper is the same. I didn't try it myself, but I probably should have. Um, it just so happens that I had a fair few of these uh, bolt papers there ready to go. So uh, yeah, those will be my tips. Um, he can be devastating, especially when you get ganged up by his spiders and then he does one of those attacks or something like that. He can be pretty um, devastating, but it's not really that bad. <coughs> but yeah, those are my tips, so uh, I might just leave it there. So anyway guys, if this uh, boss fight video did help, hit the like button, comment, and maybe even subscribe. And as always guys, stay noisy. Whoa. I didn't get it. Oh, what? I got one more left now. Run away! See if I can bait him into a. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, you bastard. Yeah, you big prick. Suck on that. So killing those spiders seemed to be the best of all of them, so...